morning, everyone. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. This Good morning. is the day that Lord has Good morning. Good morning, my dear pastor. How are you? How are you? Let's just come in with thanksgiving. Let's lift up the name of the Lord. The Lord who has been good to our children, the Lord who has kept this prayer meeting going every Monday morning. Let's just bless the name of the Lord. Father, we come in this morning and bless your holy name. We thank you, God, for your faithfulness. We thank you, God, for your mercy. We thank you, God, because your hand is upon us to do us good. Oh, Lord, God Almighty, we've come in again this morning to declare your faithfulness and to lift up our children to you, O God. We worship and we adore you. We say, Lord, you're worthy to be praised. You're worthy to be honored. I just want us to open our mouths and bless the name of the Lord. Let's bless the name of the mighty, mighty God of heaven, a God who has been good to us. Father, we bless you. Father, we worship and we adore you, God. Thank you, God. Thank you, God, for the power of your word. Thank you, God Almighty, for the truth of your word. Lord, as we begin this morning, we just bless you. We bless you, our God. There's too much to thank you for. There is too much to bless your name for. You are good and you are good. You are mighty, O God. You are mighty, O God. We mighty, o God. We'll bless you. We just give you all the praise. Morning. Glory and honor to your name, O God. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we have prayed. Before I hand over to Pastor's leading this morning, I just want each person to take, just remember one good thing that the Lord has done for you. And I want you to just give him praise for that. Just remember something good that the Lord has done for you or in your life. And I want to just thank him. Let's just thank him for the good things. Father Lord, I just want to give you the things at this point. And I worship you, Lord, that my life will be this year. I thank you for the life that you've given me the life. Thank you for the life that you have given me. Thank you for the life that you have given me. Thank you for the life that you have given me. in jesus name we have prayed thank you very much for praying i'm just going to hand over to sylvia Idu, who's going to lead us this morning well, praise, praise the lord let's just keep appreciating the lord let's bless his holy name the lord is faithful in every way much more than we can imagine or fathom let's thank him because he has kept us to this hour we are awake this morning and we can come and worship Thank together. You, Father, Thank we you, bless your holy name. Father, Thank Lord, you, Lord, we are grateful Jesus. for who you Thank are. You, Father, Thank you for Thank all you, that you have Thank done. You, Thank you that we can Thank, Thank, Thank you, Father. We can count the number of things Thank Thank that you have done. We say Thank you. For the unknown things, so God, we say thank you, oh God. We know that what we don't know is much more than the ones we can count, oh God. Father, we thank you. Blessed be your holy name in Jesus' name. Oh, Father, we bless you. We bless you with all that is in the mouth, so God. We bless you, Father, Lord, God, because you are our Father. You are the redeemer of our souls, oh God. You are the one who has chosen us as objects of your mercy, oh God. We have Thank you, Father, for the privilege to be your mighty blessing in our family, oh God. Thank you, Father, Lord, for the mighty name of Jesus, our hearts speak of joy and the mention of your name, because we have a Father who 
Thank you for the grace, Lord God. Thank you for the access. Thank you for everybody that is at the same Thank you for the heart that we are united to speak to you. Never leave us, never forsake us, Lord. Father, you, when we wander off from them, we deny you of love, Lord God. God. We want to thank you. In more ways than we can count, Father, we bring this to God this morning at your feet. We say we speak our praise, we speak our worship. Lord, you alone are worthy of all your glory. You are worthy of worship. Father, you are worthy of praise, God. To you, the all the glory and all the honor, O God, in the mighty name. We honor you, Lord. We honor you, Lord. Thank you, Father. Father, we thank you for every dad, thank you for every auntie, thank you for every uncle, Lord, that has loved you, Lord, God, standing up for the children, Lord Jesus' name. Father, we thank you for all our children, Lord, we thank you, Lord, we love them, Lord, we pray for our children, that we pray for every child, that we love them, every child, like the way we Father, we thank you that you are we thank you, Lord, your hand is upon them, your glory is manifested, their lives we can look at them and say, the Lord, 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 bring our children before God. We are going to ask him to turn his searchlight on them. A lot of them, some of them do not know the Lord. Some of them know the Lord, but they, do, they are not fully where we would love for them to be. Some have wandered off, but in the words of Ezekiel 34 verses 11 to 16, I want us to read there, to go to Ezekiel 34 verses 11 to 16. And we'll hear that the Lord has taken responsibility for our children. So we are going to pray to him in accordance with the scripture and remind him that he said he will be their shepherd. Ezekiel 34, 11 to 16. For this is what the sovereign Lord says. I myself will search and find my sheep. The Lord will search and find our children wherever they are. At whatever level they are, there's always room to go up either. So the Lord will search and find them. I'll be like a shepherd looking for his scattered flock. I'll find my sheep and rescue them from all the places where they were scattered on that dark and cloudy day. The Lord says he's going to be like a shepherd looking for his, his scattered flock. So you can imagine how a shepherd will look for scattered flock with care, with, with love, with persistence, not giving up. Remember he said one, just one. He may have 99, but he will leave the 99 that are in safety and go after the one that is out there. So the Lord is remembering our children today as we brought them at his feet, as we lifted their, our concerns over their lives. The Lord says, he will be like a shepherd searching for his scattered flock. I will find my sheep and rescue them from all the places where they were scattered on that dark and cloudy day. I'll bring them back home to their own land of Israel from among the peoples and nations. I will feed them on the mountains of Israel by the rivers and in all the places where people live. Yes, I'll give them good pasture land on the high hills of Israel. There they will lie down in pleasant places and feed in the lush pastures of the hills. I myself will tend my sheep and give them a place to lie down in peace, says the sovereign Lord. I will search for my lost ones who strayed away. 
I'll bring them safely home again. I'll bandage the injured and strengthen the weak. Praise the Lord. The Lord will bandage the injured and strengthen the weak. So this morning we will pray. We will ask the Lord, as he has declared here, that he should go after every child that is a burden in our hearts. He should go after our children and bring them back to himself. That he should search and find them out. We may not know what they get up to 100% of the time. We may not know where they are all the time. Even when they are in our presence, they may be far away from us in their thoughts. So the Lord that knows everything, we are calling on him to arise this morning. If you would unmute and pray. The Lord arise, go after Lord, our children Lord, like your lost children. Bring them back to yourself, O God. Father, you need us to be like a shepherd and a king of This morning, our children, Lord, are going to be blessed. This morning, we are scattered in the darkness of our lives. Our Lord and our King, Jesus, Lord, wherever they have been scattered. in Jesus mighty name we pray in Isaiah 43 verse 5 the Lord says do not be afraid, for I am with you. I will gather your children. I will gather you and your children from east and west. I will say to the north and the south, bring my sons and daughters back to Israel. We are going to ask the Lord to speak to the north and the south, to bring his daughters, to bring his sons back to him. We are going to ask the Lord to seek them and bring them from the distant corners of the earth back to himself in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. So let us pray and ask God, Father, this morning we ask, oh God, that you gather our children from the east and the west. Command the world system to release our sons and our daughters back to the Lord. Any one of them that has been trapped out there and lost all the control to where they come from, our Lord and our God, let your voice thunder to the Let your voice thunder in the world system. Bring them all the mighty Lord Jesus Christ. Father, Lord God, man the what <laughs> 
our father and our god we ask oh god that this day you would thunder oh god and let the world systems hear you oh god those that have taken our children captive oh god those that have indoctrinated them oh god with false doctrines oh god those that have caused them to buy into the lies of the world system, oh God, whatever has befallen them, oh God. Father, this day let your voice thunder, oh God, and bring the captives free, oh God. Let the prisons that have kept them in, oh God, be flung open, oh God. Lead them out one by one, oh God. Bring them back to yourself, oh God, to the truth of your word, oh God, to the light of your presence, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, search them out, O oh God, even from the distant corners of the earth, O oh God. Father, cause them to sit once again, O oh God, to learn at your feet, O oh God. Cause them to know, O oh God, that you are Lord, O oh God. Father, cause them to know that they are beloved, O oh God. And restore them back to yourself, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus. You created them for your glory. Our children are not for trouble. They are not for shame shame and disgrace. They we are created for your glory and they will show forth your glory to the ends of the earth, O oh God. Father, Lord God, we thank you because this morning you are assuring us that you will gather them again, O oh God, that you will bring them, O oh God. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray. Going back to Ezekiel 34, verse 13, we will pray, we will ask the Lord to bring them back to the knowledge of him, that the Lord will restore his reverence in their hearts once again, where they never even had it, oh God, that the Lord will plant the seed of their, his reverence this morning in their hearts in Jesus' name, that God would feed them by his word. He will nourish them with all that is in his word, with all that is in his being, his provision for sustenance and nourishment, he will release unto the, our children. He will lead them to the well of spring waters that never stop flowing, that our God will cause them to take their place where his provision has been made for them in the mighty name of Jesus. Shall we unmute to pray? Father, 
in Jesus mighty name we pray verse 14 verse 14 says I will give them good pasture land on the high hills of Israel there they will lie down in pleasant places and feed in the lush pastures of the hills so we are going to ask the Lord to position them in green pastures to grant them grace to lie down in green pastures and to restore their soul. We want them to lie down in the Lord's green pastures and their soul be restored. The psalmist said in Psalm 23, the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. May our children recognize the Lord as their shepherd so that they would never want and that they will receive the grace to lie down in green pastures and have their souls restored to the Lord. Please unmute to pray. Our Father and our God, we bring them once more before you, every child. Father, Lord, Pray. Our Father and our God, we ask, oh God, that you position our children, oh God, that you position them to lie down in green pastures, oh God, that you restore their soul. Father, that whatever is made for their sustenance, they will not lack, oh God, because you're their shepherd, oh God. You will order their steps to where you have made provisions for them, oh God, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. You will guide them by your mighty hand, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Verse 15 says, I myself 
the Lord is committing by himself to tend his sheep and give them a place to lie down in peace. That's the Lord's commitment to us today. He's saying, I myself. That means the Lord is stepping into their lives, into their situations by himself this morning. Oh, if only we could just receive this and see the Lord of glory going to search for our children, going to bring them out of whatever situation, whatever it is that is the body this morning. The Lord by himself will bring them out. The Lord will save them. The Lord will restore them. The Lord will heal them. The Lord will provide for them. So if let's all mute and ask the Lord to attend to them personally, even as he has promised Locate them in that place where he has made provision for them, oh God. No trouble shall come near them, no evil will befall them, because in the Lord's presence there is safety. Our Father and our God, it is our children. Ask us who bring up the cares of God. the <laughs> Jesus' mighty name we pray. Our Father and our God, we ask, O oh God, that you will lead them, O oh God, down that path of peace, O oh God, in Jesus' name. They will not wander from the place of peace. They will not wander from the path of peace, O oh God. They will remain, O oh God, within the area, O oh God, that you have marked out for your for their peace, O oh God, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, whether it's at work, at home, on the road, O oh God, Father, Lord God, you will guide them in the path of peace continuously, oh God, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father, for no evil will come near them. None will befall them in any manner, O oh God. They will be preserved by your mighty hand in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We will also ask the Lord to not stop searching for them and to bandage the wounded and strengthen the weak. Verse 6 says, says, he will bandage the injured and strengthen the weak. There are some of them that are weak. Some have been injured out there in the world. But thank God the Lord is coming today to bandage them. He's going to provide succor for each and every one of them. So let's unmute and pray. Father, these are my children, oh God. In any area where they have been wounded, Father, bandage their wounds, their Wherever my children have been wounded, Lord, my Father, Lord Jesus Christ, find them, Lord, and take them, Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus, Father, remove every wound from their lives, Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus, Father, Lord, my children, sustain you, Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus, Father, let your peace be upon them, Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus, Father, find them, Lord, find them, Lord, Jesus, wherever they have been wounded, Lord, Father, 
our father and our god we are asking oh god that you remember them again oh god that you will heal their wounds oh god that you will bandage the wounded oh god and you will strengthen the weak oh god in those areas where they struggle constantly constantly and stumble father release strength in the mighty name of jesus christ oh father the weights that easily beset them oh god father cut them off of them this morning in the mighty name of jesus christ for you are god you are their father you are their shepherd oh god you will light a lamp on that end this morning enlighten their darkness father in jesus name for by you our children can run against a true plot by you oh god they can leap over a wall oh father there shall be no insurmountable before them oh god because you're the lord that lifts them up in the mighty name of yes, jesus lord. christ thank you lord glory be to your holy name in jesus mighty name we pray Amen. Psalm 23, verse 3b. He renews my strength. He guides me along the right path, bringing honor to his name. <coughs> we are going to ask the Lord to renew their strength and to guide them along the right paths. He says, lead me in path of righteousness that their path will always be that of righteousness. They will have good judgment, that their path will always be that of righteousness. So let's commit them into the Lord's hands, that God will lead them in paths of righteousness. May his staff guide and comfort them in the mighty name of Jesus, where discipline needs to apply to their lives as a father, he will apply the discipline, where the comfort needs, he will comfort them, but that he will guide them in the paths of righteousness, and he will be with them in every circumstance. Let's unmute and pray. That's Psalm 23, verses 3 and 4. Namely, pray. Our Father and our God, lead our children in the path of righteousness, O God. 
for your name's sake, oh God. They will not bring reproach to your name. These are children that will thirst after righteousness, oh God. Lead them, Father, Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Be with them, Lord, in every circumstance of their lives, oh God. Father, Lord God, let your rod guide them and let your staff comfort them, oh God. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray. Shall we ask the Lord, verse 6, that he will daily visit them, O God, with goodness and mercy. That goodness and mercy will guide them, O God. It will be visible, it will be obvious, O God, that these ones are led by goodness and mercy. We want the Lord to hem them in with goodness and mercy. That wherever they turn, they will meet goodness and mercy in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Can we unmute and pray? Our Father and our God, our children are before you. Father, let there be a demonstration of goodness and mercy in their lives. in the mighty name of Jesus, we pray. Our Father and our God, we ask, O oh God, that our children be led and be guided by your goodness and your mercy. Father, hem them in, O oh God, with goodness and mercy. Fill their hearts with a desire to dwell with you forever, O oh God. Let them not just be wanderers on the face of the earth, O oh God. Let them be children that have a purpose and know their purpose, O oh God. Children that will interact and engage the world system as those that know their purpose, their reason for being, that their kingdom, that their kingdom is not of this world, that they are priests and they are meant to reign on the face of the earth with you, O Lord. Father, this understanding, O God, bring to their lives daily and to their consciousness in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name we pray. Now that we have asked and we believe the Lord has taken charge, he has searched them out, he's brought them home, and they are going to walk this path for the rest of their lives. We are going to pray. According to Psalm 119, verse 66, the word of God says, teach me good judgment and knowledge, for I believe your commandments. We don't want our children making mistakes that are of eternal consequence. We don't want them making wrong choices. We want them to always have good judgment. Every decision that is before them, we want them to decide rightly to make the right decision. We want them to be even the go-to for their friends and, and colleagues, oh God, for their generation that they will guide men and women to see the light of God. So let's ask the Lord, now you brought them back to you, teach them good judgment and knowledge. May they, no long, may they not be ignorant of who you are and who they are in Christ anymore. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, they will no longer be prone to wrong decisions. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, let us unmute and pray. Father, we Thank you. 
in Jesus mighty name father we thank you oh god thank you oh god for giving our good and good judgment to oh god Thank you, Father, that they will no longer be prone to wrong decisions, oh God. Thank you that they will make right and wise decisions all the time, oh God. Thank you that they will lead generations to your light, oh God, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name we pray. Continuing in that line, we are going to Proverbs chapter 2. is a long one, verses 1 to 22, where when wherever you want to insert your child's name or ask God to visit your child, you can always pray. But let's just read the scripture then we'll see how far we can go with praying with the word of God for them. Proverbs chapter two, verses one to 11, NKJV. My son, if you receive my words and treasure my commands within you, so that you incline your ear to wisdom and apply your heart to understanding. Yes, if you cry out for discernment and lift up your voice for understanding, if you seek her as silver and search for her as, as for hidden treasures, then you will understand the fear of the Lord and find the knowledge of God. For the Lord gives wisdom. From his mouth come knowledge and understanding. He stores up sound wisdom for the upright. He's a shield to those who walk uprightly. He guides the path of justice and preserves the way of his saints. Then you will understand righteousness and justice, equity and every good path. When wisdom enters your heart and knowledge is pleasant to your soul, discretion will preserve you. Understanding will keep you to deliver you from the way of evil, from the man who speaks perverse things, from the woman who speaks perverse things, from those who leave the paths of uprightness to walk in the ways of darkness, who rejoice in doing evil and delight in the perversity of the wicked, whose ways are crooked and who are devious in their paths, to deliver you from the immoral woman, from the seductress who flatters with her words, who forsakes the companion of her youth and forgets the covenant of her God. For her house leads down to death and her path to the dead. None who go to her return, nor do they regain the path of life. So you may walk in the way of goodness and keep to the paths of righteousness. For the upright will dwell in the land, and the blameless will remain in it. But the wicked will be cut off from the earth, and the unfaithful will be uprooted from it. Praise the Lord. I'm going to ask the Lord to help grace. He says, if you receive my words, we will ask the Lord to open their hearts. I'll give them teachable spirits. Our children will receive his words. Our children will treasure his commands within them. Our children will incline their ears to wisdom. Their ears will be blocked to foolishness. They will incline their ears to wisdom. They will apply their hearts to understanding. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, let us unmute and pray with verses one and two. 
our Father and our God. Commit our children into your hands and dedicate to you. Release them from your children and your sheep. I will give them a in the mighty name of Jesus, we pray. The segment is critical for the hour we are in this world right now. So we are going to pray, Lord. Give them a thirst to cry out for discernment. Give them understanding that they must cry out with discernment. Even the Lord Jesus in Hebrews 5 cried out to you for help. Father, if he can cry out, who are we? We can't posture, we can't form that we need your help. We have to desire and cry out and know that with tears and sincerity, we can bring down your help, O oh God. Therefore, Lord, we are asking, O oh God, for your grace, O oh God, to fall upon our children. The grace to know that they need discernment, O oh God, that a lot of Horrible things will be wrapped in wonderful colors, colors of gold, beautiful wrappings, beautiful gifts presented to them that are but a snare, oh God. But Lord, that they will cry out for discernment. So no matter how the enemy wraps it, they would know that it is not from their father. Let us open our mouths and cry out to God and ask the Lord to cause our children to hunger and thirst for it discernment, to cry out for his help for discernment, to lift up their voices for understanding so they will be able to know, oh God, to tell the life from the truth, to decipher that which is upright before God. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ. The Lord describes the intensity with which we must seek for it. The Lord describes the intensity, the passion. He says, if you seek her as silver and search for her as for a hidden treasure, oh, may they know that they must seek, they must search as for a hidden treasure. How do they study and pass their exams? How do they prepare for the jobs that they want to go after? What is their thirst to succeed in the world out there? The, they have to multiply what they need, that intensity, and seek discernment and cry out for understanding from God as though they were seeking for treasures. So let us pray again and let our hearts come before God with the same passion that we want our children to lay hold of this. We want them to understand what is important and what is important is 
God, Jesus Christ in their lives and they manifesting as Jesus here on earth. So can we pray again? Our Father and our God, Kashika my children go to cry out my Let my children be like in Jesus mighty name we pray and the word of God says we thank God then you will understand the fear of the Lord and find knowledge of God. Father, we thank you because at this juncture, they will understand the fear of you. They will find knowledge. Father, Lord God, you will give them wisdom. From your mouth will come knowledge and understanding. They will be vessels that you will use to direct their word. Father, they will stop wisdom, oh God. Let's move to verse 11. The word of God says, discretion will preserve you, understanding will keep you. So let's pray that discretion will preserve them, understanding will keep them. And 12 says to deliver you from the way of evil, from the man who, or woman who speaks perverse things, from those who leave parts of uprightness to walk in ways of darkness, those who rejoice in doing evil and delight in the perversity of the wicked, whose ways are crooked and who are devious in their paths. So let's pray. Father, that discretion will preserve them. Understanding will keep them from all these evils you have mentioned here, Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Please unmute. Father, Lord, my children, you are the king of the in the mighty name of Jesus. Yekes on the Yekin in a game. And the lady gets on the Yekin in a game. My bones on the Yekin in a game. In the mighty name we pray. Our Father and our God, we pray, O oh God, and we declare that discretion will preserve all our children. Understanding will keep them. Our children will not follow the advice of the wicked or stand around with sinners, oh God. 
or joining with mockers, oh God, but they will delight in your laws, meditating on your laws day and night. Our children shall be like trees planted along the river bank, bearing fruit each season. Their leaves never wither, and they will prosper in all that they do. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Please turn with me quickly to Philippians 1, 9 to 11. 9 to 11, it says, And this I pray, that your love may abound still more and more in knowledge and all discernment that you may approve the things that are excellent, that you may be sincere and without offense till the day of Christ, being filled with the fruits of righteousness, which are by Jesus Christ to the glory and praise of the Lord. Praise the Lord. So we are praying for our children in accordance with Philippians 1, 9 to 11, that our children will, that the love of God will abound in their hearts more and more. And that the love of God will bring forth knowledge and discernment, the same discernment, that they may approve things that are excellent always. We want them to know the excellent things. Our Father and our God, let's pray that our children will approve things that are excellent all the time. That your love will abound to them more and more. His knowledge that more and more. That our children will approve things that are excellent in the end of the day. That they really really understand the truth. That they give them pure and valid blessing. Only glory and mercy. Father, this is our prayer for our children, that your love may, that their love for you may abound still more and more in knowledge and discernment. Father, that our children may approve of the things that are excellent always that our children will be sincere and without offense till the day of Christ, that our children will be filled with the fruits of righteousness, which are by Jesus Christ, to the glory and praise of you, O oh God. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we have prayed. Amen. 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 Thank you so much. Thank you. Before we go, I just want us to thank the Lord. And I want us to bless his name because he's the one who's going to continue to lead our children, lead them out of trouble, lead them into greatness and glory in Jesus' name. Let's Amen. just bless the name of the Lord. Father, Father we just want to bless him. Thank you. I'm <laughs> 
we are going to agree we have one minute left we are just going to agree over them that they shall not die but live to declare the glory of the lord in the mighty name of jesus christ that everything it doesn't matter how bad it looks is going to turn out for their deliverance in the mighty name of Jesus. Somehow they will come out of trouble and they will live for the glory of the Lord. Let's just agree. Father, we just thank you. We thank you. We have prayed. Heavenly Father, we thank you again for this Monday. We thank you, God Almighty, because we know, O oh God Almighty, that our children's lives are in your hands, O oh God. We thank you, God, because we know who you are. We know that you know every single child that is represented here or that is remotely connected to us. And Lord, we thank you, God, because when we come to pray to you, Lord, you answer us. And we know, O oh God, that your thoughts towards our children are thoughts of good and not of evil to give them a hope and an expected end. So Lord, we thank you for every single child that we have lifted up today, O oh God. Thank you, O oh God, because your word cannot return to you void. Father, Lord, we thank you because Lord, in our camp, no child will be lost. Thank you, O oh God, for even that one that seems to be far away from you because Lord, your love is drawing them. Your love is drawing them and nothing can keep them away from you. We agree one more time that they shall not die but live to declare your glory. We worship you, Almighty God. Thank you, God Almighty. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen and amen. Thank you. Amen. Good morning. Amen. Good morning. Amen.